Yo, welcome back. This is Stu42 with another Minecraft episode. Uh, today we are finally going to get around to making those last two multi-blocks. Well, not the last two, but obviously two very important multi-blocks. Uh, we want to make the implosion compressor as well as the vacuum freezer. So both of those things in here uh, we've been needing for a while, especially the vacuum freezer to make canthal because we want to make a second upgraded um, electric blast furnace um, so that we can do some stuff there. Um, the implosion compressor, pretty easy stuff. HVTS circuits, but it's basically an LVTM machine. I don't think any recipe uses more than 30 EU per tick. Uh, we do need some reinforced stone for that. Um, and that takes a bit of concrete. I have added already off camera added this advanced chemical bath here next to our concrete making facilities uh, and got some concrete in there already and that is just so that we can make reinforced stone out of steel frame boxes and concrete very very easy to do uh, the vacuum freezer of course we needed the EVTS circuits which we now have some of thanks to the clean room uh, as well as a bunch of frost proof machine casings HV pumps nothing else too difficult there uh, we're going to need input output maintenance and energy hatches for both uh, the implosion compressor of course we're going to make LV just because it only needs to be LV uh, the highest thing I think you need in vacuum freezer is HV so we're going to make that HV just to make it last a long time uh, and it'll give a nice sort of speed boost for some of those other recipes we need as well um, yeah all the remains really is what do you mean, frost proof machine casings for the rest this one needs solid steel machine casings for the rest so I'm gonna make a bunch of stuff for those uh, we'll probably put we've got some HV over here so we'll throw the vacuum freezer in there we have some LV power here so we'll probably put the implosion compressor over here it does produce quite a lot of uh, pollution the implosion compressor but it's very short-lived so it's sort of like 10 I think it's 10,000 pollution per second but every recipe only takes one second anyway so um, down over here should be far enough away we might even because this is a, a zero loss cable I might just run a bunch of cable <laughs> through that way uh, and put it a bit further away anyway I'll be back in just a sec once I've made all the bits and pieces and we'll see how we go about assembling them um, and finally using them so I'll see you in a sec all right, we are back and I have made a bunch of stuff. Uh, the both controllers and all the bits and pieces we're going to need, hopefully, to make these up. Uh, I've also made a bunch of cables. We've got some red alloy and some aluminium. I've been using aluminium over here. Um, it can handle higher voltages, but we are just running HV through it, so that's okay. Um, just got to be careful that we realize that we are running um, only HV through it and don't uh, overpower it with the wrong... Uh, with the wrong voltage like coming out that way so uh what are we going to do we're going to put the vacuum freezer over this side so the control block needs to be the front centered uh the energy hatch will be one of the front ones so we've got a an hv energy hatch now i do want to move i want to move this whole room around i'm going to change the way that works so let's yeah i think the room We'll end up over there somewhere, which means we can probably have our cabling run close to this. So we want, you know, let's run it through here. Now I am just going to run the cable in, in line with this. Uh, we are going to throw that there. We're going to have the LV, no, muffler. HV energy hatch there. Nope, that is not the way we want it. Cool. We are also going to need... Definitely don't have them on me. Always forget my cable cutters, my wire cutters. There they go. Uh, let's just throw them there. Cool. So, that is going to, we'll fix up all the blocks later on. It's not too bad. Now, we'll leave that disconnected for now. So, this is going to be... Awesome. So, I'm going to probably have to have a gap down the side to put the muffler. Sorry, the maintenance hatch. Oh, and the, actually, the muffler as well. We... 
Is the vacuum freezer that needs it? No, the vacuum freezer doesn't need the muffler. It's only the other one. So we're going to need input, output, maintenance, and energy. So we've got our energy there. You know what? We can probably put the input output on the same on the same side and put the maintenance. Yeah, maybe, maybe. So if we put our maintenance hatch, I tend to like doing the bottom right for maintenance hatches. So let's put that there. Let's have the input bus. Yeah, input bus there. Output bus there. The frost casings can go for one, two, three, four. Wow, so that really is all we need. And we can throw that in there and that should form. Hooray. Now we're going to need, yeah, we might use some of that again. Cool. Pipe is loose, screws are loose, everything is wrong. So let's just connect it. We have got the HP energy hatch, awesome. So while that is sitting there, we are also gonna want to put the same sort of deal over here, except with LV. So let's have an LV hatch there. Uh, we want to be facing down. Uh, come on. Why is that not connecting? Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah. We want not the input bus. We want the LV energy hatch. Awesome. That's better. Now I'm going to need to replace stuff under there. That's all right. We can go there. We can go there. Cool, connect that up later. We are gonna have out this side, I think, this time. Although that does mean it breaks my pattern for having the maintenance hatch. That's okay, we can have... Now, what do we do over here? We have input at top, output at the bottom. Uh, output at the bottom, input bus at the top. Let's try and keep the same pattern. Solid steel machine casing. Now we are gonna want the muffler hatch for this one. So this is also the front and center, any casing, any casing, any casing for all of the rest. So we're gonna need the muffler. You know what, let's, we just need a gap there. Sorry if this is a bit hard to see, I'm not sure how my brightness is going at the moment put the muffler hatch at the top let's grab oh we still need the maintenance hatch as well so the maintenance hatch can go there make sure everything is in place the controller can go there yes formed Awesome, and we should be able to just make sure that that is connected there and red alloy is connected to there. Now, just double check. Over here we have LV. Oh. Redstone alloy cable, why did that burn up? See, now this is why I find this sort of stuff really, really weird. Like, it shouldn't be pulling any more current. And we've had five batteries in there with the same cable the whole time. Yet, for some reason, it burns up the extra one. Again. Okay, that is truly, truly bizarre. Four redstone LA cables. It's four times cable with two amps in it. Redstone alloy, red alloy. Uh, <laughs> yeah, okay. I have made the wrong 
the wrong cable. So this is why we check these things. At least it was the just the wrong cable and not the uh, not the wrong input bus. So we're going to need redstone alloy cable, not red alloy cable. And what is the difference? So there's red alloy cable. And we want redstone alloy cable. Okay, so what's the difference? If we look for alloy cable. So redstone alloy cable is max voltage 32, 4 amps, 0 E volts. Red alloy cable is 8. Ultra low voltage. Okay, so we're going to need to make some redstone alloy cable. Cable I made completely the wrong thing. Yes, this is the one that needs to be made in the blast furnace with some oxygen. And redstone alloy comes from redstone silicon and coal. We've got plenty of that. All right, I'm going to race away. I will make some of that uh, and we'll come back and hopefully get to doing each of these things and powering them up. Um, when we completed the quests before for these multi blocks, uh, we did end up with a couple of others. So this one here has got the quest for the canthal coil blocks which is great because that's for the whole reason we're making it uh we also have some quests here for powder barrels tnt um and some other stuff toluene yeah let me look into how we need to make this stuff because this is probably oh, that's sulfuric acid that's pretty easy so it's how to make tnt ah sulfuric acid in a chemical reactor at 24 eve tick chemical reactor sulfur acid fantastic all right so we might be able to make some tnt we're going to need to make some gelled toluene which is from yeah toluene sugar and polyethylene pulp which we have all that stuff toluene however is distilled oh look at that heavy fuel moderately steam cracked yeah so we could probably even make some of this we could do a distillery severely steam cracked lightly steam cracked heavy heavy severely steam cracked light fuel well, we're already making yeah let me think about that for a sec i may need to make another distillery and stuff to make toluene i don't think we're going to need tons of it although look at that a whole liter for 30 toluene all right let me run away i'll make some bits and pieces we'll fix up this cabling situation um tidy things up a bit and i'll be back uh and hopefully we'll be able to move on at least with a little bit of questing um just because i want to actually use well, hopefully both of them, but um, we'll see what we do and see how the time goes. See you back in just a sec. Okay, it is worth coming back just for this little bit. I managed to make a universal macerator. I did this off camera a little while ago. Um, but one of the things with the HV macerator is you do get a bit of additional um, output here. Now, the reason I'm just coming back for this is because we're going to need some chrome. I've decided after looking at these quests, I can't really get uh tnt powder barrels or even you know, that's going to be even longer away um i can't get in time for this episode it's just going to take too long for me to get the toluene up and running um, there's a few different ways to do it um, there's one really good way here with wood tar it's nice and fast it does take uh mv power uh 200 doesn't give you much toluene out of it but one of the things you want to do this for is wood tar comes from charcoal byproducts now the reason this is kind of important is because if we go to the distillation tower you get wood tar wood vinegar and wood gas as well as some charcoal dust out of a distillation tower and that all comes from charcoal byproducts charcoal byproducts of course you can get from a paralyzed oven with nitrogen gas now we haven't got a nitrogen set up yet we haven't got yeah quite a few things in place um, but i do want to do this in a future episode so we want to get some nitrogen sorted i want to switch my paralyzer oven probably over to charcoal byproducts because you do get four liters out every time uh, and then there'll be a quest for the distillation tower we can head down that path for now though we did 32 ore we only got a couple of chrome dust out there but it is two more than we otherwise would have got uh, and now i can race over and throw this through the rest of my stack i am going to need to whoop, just processing a bunch of stuff uh, i am going to need to uh, make the ore washing plant and do a whole hv stack 
um, for processing over the other side at some point. I'm kind of putting it off. I don't really, <laughs> other than the macerator, I don't really see the need um, just yet. Now, the chrome. The reason we want the chrome. The reason we want the chrome is I do kind of want to get the cantle done today. So 16 coil blocks, 16 coil blocks comes from, what is that? Eight two times cantle wire. So that is like two stacks of two times cantle. Uh, two stacks of that is four stacks of wire, but four stacks of wire uh, can come from two stacks of ingots. So that means we need two stacks of ingots. So the ingots come from the vacuum freezer, which is what we just made and what we want to get doing. Uh, and the hot canthal ingot comes from canthal dust. So can bear in mind we need two stacks of this. So two stacks of this, the mixer, three dust to three, shapeless, same thing. So with three stacks, there's 128, which means we're gonna need, or oh, whatever it is, 48 or something. What's, uh, what's 128 divided by three? Uh, yeah, so we'll need something like that. Nearly a stack of chrome, nearly a stack of iron, nearly a stack of aluminum. So I am going to go off camera once again. I will try and get this stuff together so that we can at least finish out the cancel um, stuff by the time we finish this episode. Uh, we are getting a tiny bit of chrome here. I'm going to need a ton more ruby, so I'm going to have to go mining. Um, yeah, and we'll be back here and hopefully have some stuff for our vacuum freezer to at least test if that works. So I'll see you back in just a sec again. So we are back and we have made a couple of stacks of canthal. It took sort of 42-ish of each thing, 42 aluminium, 42 uh, iron and 42 chrome. Uh, those are now making these. Now, I don't know... Yep, apparently we can just hold hot ingots and it's just fine, so that's great by me. Uh, throw them in the input. This is not going to work until we get some of that tape. Uh, let's race across. I think I have some. One left. Just one. Alright, so we need to make some more of this at some point. There is a quest I saw somewhere that gives it as a reward. Um, or another reward. So if we right click on that. Ta-da! Cool, vacuum freezer hit with a soft mallet to reinitialize, dink. And it is now running successfully. We have got HV going in. I am currently just trying to run out the fuel in these so I can move this around a little bit just to put some extra, extra power gen onto that battery buffer. Um, that there, wow has frozen them super fast, but we now have our canthal ingots. So those two stacks we can then turn into, um, yeah, turn into canthal wire. I'm going to need to make an assembler with some molten copper. I think I have a um, fluid extractor somewhere next to an assembler. Uh, and then, of course, the mica insulator foil as well we're going to need. So we are going to need... So it's the same as that. So if we're getting 16 of these, we're going to need two stacks of the foil. Two stacks of the foil divided by four, 32 mica insulator sheets. Mica insulator sheets, 32 of those. So really, really easy. Eight dust and 32 mica sheets. 32 mica sheets is asbestos and mica based pulp. So I'm gonna need to find all those things. I'll try and do that between now and well, maybe next episode, maybe the episode after, um, but we will need to make an extra um, EBF at some point to do the hotter stuff and I will just make a whole new one. I don't think I'm going to bother um, up spec in this one. I'll leave this one for sort of silicon and um, aluminium and stuff like that and we'll build another one yeah maybe over here maybe this is just the hv corner and i'm going to run a bunch of hv stuff over here so we'll do that um as i said i do want to get into getting this implosion compressor going there was something that i did the other day that needed an industrial diamond ah the lathe that's what it was so we were trying to make we were trying one of these lathes and unfortunately it requires the industrial diamond. You cannot use a regular diamond in, in the same spot. Uh, and we were going to use the lathe to run... Oh, I can't remember what it was for. We had something like HV emitters that we wanted to make. Or maybe it was the sensor. HV sensor. 
No, there was something to do with the emitter and the sensor that we wanted to make um, for one of the other quests. I'm sure I'll remember it between now and, ne um, now and next time. Um, but that is going to be all for this episode. I think we've accomplished what we want to accomplish. We've got the two new multi-blocks out. I'm going to have to get some more tape ready for this one just so that we can get it going. Uh, and then... Yeah, not sure what we'll do next time. We'll um, we'll see between now and then and um, how far I get with getting some of this other stuff sorted. So, as always, thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time.